What's going on, boys and girls? I'm making several videos today, so hopefully I don't get these things confused. We're going to make some shrimp and grits. You guys have seen me make it before, but I was just going to do a quick, um, just a quick showing of, of me making these shrimp and grits, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, share, comment. All right, we got everything here together. We got some jumbo um, shrimp here. They may even be colossal. There's probably about, probably about 16 of them in there. We got some... Uh, minced garlic got a small onion some butter some cream cheese some lemon juice some white wine back here is some mojo rub here um we've got some four cheese mexican um, um to go into the grits chicken broth is what we're using to cook the grits in and then we've got some stone ground yellow grits now with the yellow grits you got to let those things cook a little bit longer than you normally do just your regular uh, quick grits or instant grits so we're gonna we're gonna start cooking those first and we're gonna put this baby together so we've got our um, chicken broth coming up to a boil and we're gonna add some of our mojo seasoning mojo seasoning's got a bunch of uh, citrus in it so we're just gonna put probably about a teaspoon full y'all we don't want to over salt it because the chicken broth already has some seasoning in it now we're gonna put about two tablespoons of butter in there that's about four cups um, of of chicken broth guys which is basically the entire uh, chicken broth container so that's about four cups all righty so we're gonna add our add our grits and there is only a cup in there so it's gonna be one cup one cup of grits to four cups of water which is the standard the standard way that you cook grits guys was one to four rice is one to two so we're gonna slowly mix this in and we want to slowly mix it in so that you don't get any lumps in there when you um, when you're stirring it now these are going to have to cook a little bit longer than normal grits but they're going to be so doggone good and so doggone creamy here so again you want to do this early in the game here just going to stir all this in i know i'm taking up some time on the camera but just got to show you this part and then what we're going to do is we're going to let those come to a boil let those come to a boil and then we're going to put it on simmer and we're going to simmer it for about 25 to 30 minutes so we'll be right back all right so they're already simmering here so we're going to turn the heat down to simmer well they're already boiling um, we're going to turn the heat down to simmer here put that lid up there and then what you're going to come in and do about every five minutes or so come in and stir this thing up so that you make sure that the grits aren't sticking all right so we we're going to put our butter in our frying pan here a saute pan it got me a new one this this is just like a ceramic one it's supposed to be non-stick and it has been so far but i just got it this week it was one of those those deals on amazon you know um for amazon prime days so it, i got it for pretty cheap guys i think it was like 20 bucks so you can't beat it but anyway i've got um, that i've got my onions kind of a rough chopped here and then we'll add that in once the butter is nice and melted we've got that melting on medium all righty when you've got about 10 minutes left with the grits we're gonna go ahead and add in our onions here y'all I'm gonna saute those. We're also gonna, and that's that's a small onion right there. That's a uh, small to medium. And we're gonna add in about a tablespoon of garlic. I love garlic, so that's actually more than a tablespoon. It's like a heaping tablespoon. And we'll get a spatula here. Give it a little bit of a stir. So everything's nice and glistening. Oh, don't want to lose that onion. A nice stir. You're gonna do this for about two minutes or so, guys, until everything's nice. Well, until the onions are nice and glistening. We'll be right back. All right, now when we get to this level right here, we're gonna add about a fourth of a cup of white wine. That's just gonna give life some nice flavor, y'all. Gonna let some of that cook off really gives it a lot of flavor and 
now this is when we add in our add in our shrimp and you, you know shrimp doesn't have to stay in there very long so so we're gonna put the shrimp in there make sure they're all in one layer Now we need to put some seasoning on it here. So we're gonna go with some of our little mojo seasoning. Just lightly spritz it there. And we're gonna put some lemon juice up there as well too. Gotta to have lemon with this. Make sure you shake your bottle unless you've got real lemon. There's our timer. We're gonna stir our grits up here. We're gonna add in a little bit of lemon juice. Just about a couple of tablespoons full. And we're gonna let that cook. Again, you don't have to let it cook long, y'all. Not long at all. Let me see, they're already starting to turn. We're gonna stir our grits up and we'll be right back. All right, I almost forgot to turn the camera back on. But anyway, we're gonna give all these a flip. Again, they're gonna cook really, really quick. And if the grits are not done, guys, we want, you definitely want to take this off the heat because we don't want to overcook these things because you get them, they're going to be real chewy if you overcook them. So you'll get one of those little pan holder things. I forget what they're called. Um, to keep them from, um, to keep them from cooking. So these, these are done. I'm going to turn the heat off here and we're going to set these off to the side. Alrighty. So now we got the grits in there. And you got to taste them to see if they're tender yet, guys, because, again, these are stone ground grits, and so they're a little bit harder to get tenderized. So it's going to take, I tasted them already, so they got just a few more minutes before they get nice and tender. All right, so we got them to the consistency we want, and you want to put two to four ounces, and this is an eight ounce pack of cream cheese, so we're going to put about four ounces here. that in there got that if you've got the kind that have chives in it guy use that then we're going to use about six ounces of cheese now I've already used some of this cheese so that's about six ounces there make sure Let's give it a stir. Where's my spoon? Give it a nice little stir here. Oh, this is gonna be so good, y'all. So good. That cheese is gonna melt. And this is gonna be your base for your shrimp. So doggone good. And the heat is off right now. Just turned it off. Give it a nice little mix. We're gonna let that sit for a little while just so that all the cheese can melt in there. Just for a couple of minutes. Alrighty, now we're gonna plate this here. Put some in both here. You'll have some of this left open, guys. It's a lot of grits. All right, then we're gonna add our shrimp here. And there's like 22 shrimp in here. So we're gonna do it like this. Cause we won't be able to eat them all.
Now we're gonna we're gonna come back here just a second once we get these bowls loaded. All right, now we're gonna add some of the juice in here. You gotta have that juice in there, y'all. Gotta have that juice. I'm gonna use it all here. We and I know my wife's gonna say this is too much, but I'll eat every bit of mine. Guarantee you. And there you got it, guys. Shrimp and grits. Um, if you do yours like this, they'll come out good every time. I'm going to clean this up a little bit and take a picture of it. And hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, like, share, comment on the video. Hit that little thumbs up, guys, because it really gets it out there so other people can see these videos and maybe enjoy them for themselves and try some of these recipes. So you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.